Uh, there were a few years where it's actually very hard to find cells from those years. Oompa Loompa Cam. There are plenty of families and workers inside Disney between 1947 and 1955 who just took artwork full cell, totally intact, perfect pieces of artwork that you can buy. There's not that much stuff, but it's out there. So that's another way that you can get stuff from back then. I say Cinderella, some of Peter Pan, uh, Alice in Wonderland. I actually call that the um, Disney Secretaries era because there were a few cells that were removed from Disney by the secretaries who were working there. And sometimes you see clear nail polish on the back, right on top of the actual paint on the back of the cell. There's like a little kind of blippy, uh, clear nail polish look um, around the image of the cell because that's when they were painting the back. I guess they knew that clear nail polish would keep it from, from the paint from coming off. So sometimes you find cells from Cinderella that are like that. I'm like really grateful because I've never seen one like that that needed to be restored. So bless the secretary's heart at Disney. Yay team. So that's, that, uh, that's from about 1947 to 1955. And then when Disneyland opened, uh, they had a little art corner at Disney and they would trim the cell down to a smaller size and then they would put a little mat around it and then they had a seal on the back and they would sell those cells uh, as art at the art corner at Disney. Those were a lot less expensive. Every once in a while you can actually see them with the little um, semi-clear uh, uh, packaging that they, that they bought the art in, which is kind of cool because it's usually got the little how much it cost, which was like 75 cents. Some art was a lot more money, but for the most part it was $75, $1.50, $3, very inexpensive. One of the weird things is when people come in and there's uh, two kids, you know, who have grown and, uh, one, and they got to go inside Disneyland and pick their favorite cell. One person said, I love Lady and the Tramp. I'm going to get Lady and the Tramp sitting eating spaghetti. The other one says, I love Ludwig von Drake. I'm going to get Ludwig von Drake. Well, that's cool. They picked their very favorite, but Lady and the Tramp, lots of money. Ludwig von Drake, not so much. So it just so happened one person was into one and one person was in the other. So they were sold for the same amount of money at the time. But later, some things that were more popular became worth a lot more money than others. So it's just interesting when people come in with that kind of a situation in my gallery. Uh, so that's the Disneyland mat era. That's between 1955 and 1968. There actually is some art from movies that were released before 1955 that you can find in Disneyland mat setups. And that's like you can find Peter Pan artwork and um, some, some Alice in Wonderland every once in a while. You'll see some stuff from there. And then... One of the things you might want to bear in mind is uh, the backgrounds are often stuck to the cell from that era. I know someone who has figured out a way, he's a chemist, to remove the cell from the background without damaging the paint or having all the paint come off of the background. Uh, but for the most part, it's inherent to the era for the cell to be stuck to the background from the Disneyland matte era. Uh, also, you're going to find that there are some backgrounds that don't belong to the cells. So you'll find Jungle Book cells on 101 Dalmatian backgrounds. That's the most bizarre of the ones because you've got snow background and jungle cell. But, you know, that's how they put it together then. It's inherent to the era. You want to keep all of that together if you can. So that's the Disney on Matt era. Then, um, starting in around 1979, they had uh, Disney Fine Art cells. Those are full cells. A lot of times they're laminated, which is unfortunate because you might find some bubbling in that, but they're full cells. They have seals in the corner. There are different kinds of seals that they did use depending on the time period when you bought it from, but they have all seals directly from Disney released, sold to galleries that were selling art as fine art uh, animation starting in 1979. Now, there still is artwork from that era that they were selling from 1971, 73, and on up. So you'll see Bebnams and Broomsticks, uh, Robin Hood, Fox and the Hound, all of that stuff is sold as art on a full cell with seals. And so you'll have like Winnie the Pooh, which is 1966, or um, Jungle Book, which is 1967, sold uh, uh, as Disney fine art with the seal on it, and also sold from the Disneyland matte era. But for the most part, you're just gonna wanna make sure you're getting the kind of seal that corresponds with that era that they were selling art through Disney. There is some art that went through the back door at Disney. You're gonna to wanna to avoid 
I think, artwork that is sold uh, from The Little Mermaid without seals on it. So that's what you've got, your Carvacia set up, Disneyland Matte era, and the Disney Fine Art era.